The match. The match consists of two or three bouts, up to two victories. Call and presentation of athletes. The referee calls the athletes to the platform to begin the match. He should clearly pronounce the first and last name as well as the country of the competitor. There must be a break of at least 15 minutes between the matches of a single athlete. The athlete who is invited first must take the platform side marked in red to the right of the arbitrator. And the athlete who is invited second will take the platform side marked in blue to the left of the arbitrator. The traditional greeting of athletes. Stepping onto the platform, the athletes greet each other. The athletes put their right hand clenched into a fist over their heart as a traditional expression of great respect for their opponent. At the same time, the left hand is placed over the lower back. Next, the athletes take a small step back with their right leg and make a slight bend of the knee. The left leg will remain straight. The head should be slightly lowered as in greeting. Then, the athlete returns to the starting position. The traditional greeting is mandatory, and ignoring it is considered disrespectful towards the sport in general. Unethical behavior of athletes may result in severe penalties. After the greeting and before the sit command, Olor, Athletes are given no more than one minute for preparation. Upon the Olor command of the arbitrator, the athletes will sit opposite each other with their feet resting against the face of the jam board inside the marked starting boundaries. Once the athletes are in position, athletes grip the stick. The athlete on the red side of the platform has the option to choose inside or outside grip in bout one. Grip types. Selecting outside grip reveals the position and orientation of the hands, and once set, cannot be changed. The left grip is the left palm up and the right grip is the right palm up. The athlete who takes inside grip has an option to keep their hands neutral when presenting the stick over the center of the jam board while their opponent takes an outside grip. After the outside grip is taken, the inside grip orientation must be set. Hands and fingers should the distance between hands should be approximately one centimeter. Wrists and forearms must be straight. After setting grips, the athletes cannot let go. The stick must be over the center and parallel to the jam board. Deviation of paralleling may not be more than 5 centimeters at either end of the stick, and the stick may not deviate from the center of the board at all. After the sit command, Olor, no more than 30 seconds should pass before the attention command, Belem, is given. If the referee cannot get the athletes into a neutral starting position in this time, the arbitrator will give a warning to the guilty athlete. After the command Belem, the athletes hold a static position until the start command Che is given. The pause between Belem and Che, Belem. che. should not be more than 1-2 to two seconds. When victory of the bout is awarded, the arbitrator stops the bout by whistling or commanding stop and then reaches out with an open hand to the side of the winner. The duration of a break between bouts should not exceed one minute unless medical intervention is needed. The athlete from the red side chooses grip in the first bout, and the athlete from the blue side chooses the grip in the second bout. Grip choice in the third bout is decided by a cube toss. Controversial provision is declared if The opponents lose balance at the same time and cannot continue the bout. The opponents release the stick at the same time. Or if hands overlap during the bout. In the case of a controversial provision, such as a broken stick or simultaneous fall, the arbitrator stops the bout by whistling or commanding stop. Hands with clenched fists and thumbs upward are spread to the sides at shoulder level to indicate an additional bout. Competitors are then given the additional bout, but the grip orientation remains the same. In a tied score of 1 to 1 before the third bout, the choice of grip position is determined by the tossing of a two-colored cube. The athlete who wins the toss gets the choice of grip position. At the end of the match, the arbitrator will stand behind the platform and face the audience for the declaration of the winner. The participants will stand on both sides of the arbitrator relative to color. After the announcements of the result, the arbitrator then raises the hand of the winner. Athletes will shake hands with each other, then they will exit the stage. Interrupting the match. The right to interrupt the match belongs to the chief referee 
the head of the platform, or the arbitrator. If the match cannot be continued for medical reasons, the decision is made by a physician who will inform the coach to have the head of the platform stop the match. The head of the platform may interrupt the bout if the referee or side referee makes a gross error. They must watch a replay on video if available and make an official decision. In no case can an athlete interrupt the bout himself. If an athlete is deliberately injured by an opponent, the aggressor will be disqualified and the other will be declared the winner. Suspension of an athlete from the competition. If an athlete does not go to the platform within one minute of being called without medical indication or notifying the competition secretariat, they will be disqualified and not awarded any placing and their opponent will be declared the winner of the match. The athlete will be removed from the competition if the athlete is bleeding and it cannot be stopped, or if the athlete is ill and a risk to others, or for the use of alcohol or narcotics, for the refusal to take off jewelry, watches, hats, or for appearing without a uniform that complies with the rules. The athletes can also be withdrawn from the competition for the use of profanity, threats or insults towards the opponent or the judges, for defiant or aggressive behavior, for striking, for intentional violation of rules, or for unethical or rude behavior towards judges, opponents, and or official representatives of the Federation. Number of matches. If the competition lasts one day, the number of matches for one athlete should not exceed six. If the event lasts two or more days, the number of matches for one athlete should not exceed five matches per day.